I just noticed that my roots are already growing back. And now I'm mad. This video isn't about complaining about my roots. We're in a good mood, we're happy and we're excited because I'm seeing Louie. I can't believe it. So this is going to be another installment in my little concert vlog series. Not series, but my little collection, right? I filmed one for the Jonas Brothers and then I filmed one for Harry. And both of those videos kind of, sorry, I'm like cutting myself off. Both of those videos kind of followed a similar structure. And now we're adding my Louis show into the collection. And then I have some other shows once I move to LA that'll probably go in the collection too. But we're finally here. It's finally the day where well, I'm not seeing Louie today. You guys know in true Jasmine's Aid concert vlog fashion, I'm starting a few days before the show because why would I start on the day of the show? That's very out of character for me. Today is Sunday. No, it's not. I literally just lied. Today is Saturday and my Louis show is on Monday. Like this is the one. This is the one where I already feel so much adrenaline, so much excitement because Louis is there. You guys know how much of a Louis I am. I'm just dying. I'm just dying. I don't even know what to say. Today, I'm just taking you along with me, just like I did in both of my other concert vlogs, to buy some things that I need for the show. And I thought that I would do that today, Saturday, because I don't really have anything going on. And I thought it would be fun to kind of just make a day out of it, grab some coffee, go pick out what I need. I just need to find a bodysuit, basically, because all of the long sleeve shirts that I have will not work. I want to do like a long sleeve with some kind of cute tank over it or like thing over it with some leather pants, some boots, and then like my, a matching like mask. That's my vision for Louie. I'm so excited. I'm literally gonna piss. I haven't seen Louis since 2019 when I went to California with a bunch of my friends to see him for one of his little just like one-time shows. Before we get started with all of today's festivities, I'm definitely going to get dressed, have some water, maybe eat something. I don't know what I have that I want to eat, but get fueled up for the day and I'm gonna go to the gym because I don't want to miss a day in the gym. So I'm going to do all of that stuff, and then I'll get back with you guys probably when I'm in the car, and or maybe when I'm getting ready. I don't know. We'll see. And then we're going to start this Louis adventure. Louis Tomlinson world tour adventure. Anyone else going to throw up? <laughs> Minus the fact that I'm pale as a ghost in the winter, we're good. Hey guys, I'm back. I just finished at the gym. I took a shower. I got ready. But now we are ready to go run around like crazy because I have a bunch of errands to run. But the most important one is to the mall, like in every concert vlog ever that I ever upload ever again. We're gonna do that. But of course, before I do that, I'm gonna get Duncan. Like, are you surprised? Are you new here? <laughs> of course, I'm gonna get coffee first. I have like these new gems on my car keys. They're so cute. Little lesbian flag and a heart and then a little snake. My goal for the show is to literally just give myself the freedom to cry my eyes out because I feel like I need that. You know, like you remember just going through something and you can take the concert experience as the time to kind of let go and just cry your eyes out and have a good time. That's what I want to do. I, I've been so stressed out lately. I want this concert to just be, it's, I'm making this so deep. I just want this concert to be my chance to just let it all go and to just be like, in this moment, none of that matters. The only thing that matters is me and my reason why, who is right in front of me on stage right now, and that's it. I've been seeing some of the shows, like updates of the shows on like Twitter, and they look so much fun. They look like the safest environment, which I already know it's gonna be, so I'm really excited for that. I need to get my car fixed so badly. Just a little bit of a life update for those of you who don't uh, subscribe to my Patreon, which is a really good opportunity for me to not very subtly shout out my Patreon that you should subscribe to because there's behind the scenes videos and updates way more frequently than I talk about them on my main channel. But for those of you who aren't on my Patreon, just a little life update. Right now I've been kind of going crazy because I've been working a lot, also preparing to move to LA. A lot of people get confused because my bios on all my social medias already say that I live in LA, but I don't. I just travel to LA frequently, like back and forth from Indian LA. I'm still in Indianapolis. I'm still a Midwest girl for the time being, but in almost exactly a month from the time that you're seeing this, I will be in LA permanently and not coming back and forth. So I've been running around like crazy trying to figure out the move as well. I've been slowly but surely getting rid of half of my apartment 
and donating lots of clothes to Goodwill. I've also been putting lots of my clothes on Depop, another very not subtle opportunity for me to promote something. I'm gonna put a pin in this conversation for a second. Hi, can I just do a large caramel iced coffee with extra cream and sugar? Um, All right, we'll see the window. Oh, can I also just add one shot of espresso? Sorry. She was ready for me to go. She said, yeah, okay, now pull up. Bestie, I wasn't done. I wanted something else. <laughs> Wait, I forgot to order a donut. <laughs> I was gonna order me a little donut because I didn't really eat anything this morning, which is not good. She's here. I don't know why my camera won't like focus on the color, but it's time for today's taste test. I don't remember which vlog it was. I don't know if it was the Jonas Brothers concert vlog or my Harry vlog where I mentioned like the thing about Duncan, how it's either gonna taste like heavenly clouds or dirty sewer water, but here's today's taste test. Ugh, it's perfect. That's Louis voodoo. Not voodoo, but that's Louis luck. He said, you know what? You deserve a good Duncan today because you're seeing me in two days and I wanna make your day better. Thank you, Louis. I knew that everything that was right about my life was because of you. Mall trip was successful. There's a lot of people around here, but I'm still gonna film anyway because why not? I did factually get some pretzel bites and jalapeno cheese to make up for the fallen forgotten donut. And I did manage to find a bodysuit. Although I'm a little scared of this bodysuit because it's one size down than what I would normally get because I wanted to make sure it would be tight. Again, I didn't say I wasn't going to be a whore. I said that in my Harry vlog too. No, like in a whore she was. That bodysuit was a problem. My titties were out. Anyone who met me and took a picture with me, I'm sorry if my tits are out in it. It was a problem. I forgot to talk about this during the review of the show later in this vlog, but at one point I was like, you know how I am at concerts, jumping up and down, going crazy, whatever, the whole thing. And I didn't even realize that my boobs were falling out. Like they were not just like a little hee hee, like cleavage, like they were, out, like fully out and I didn't know because I was jumping around and there was a security guard at the barricade right in front of me just staring at me, just watching me bounce around with my boobs out and I didn't know until I kind of caught his eye and then I looked down and he was just standing there staring at my boobs. It was icky. I should have jumped him. This is the bodysuit. Has this like weird rectangular cut off whatever and it's long sleeved and then you know what a bodysuit looks like just black there's gonna be hell trying to pee in this but it, it'll be worth it i only got this because it was on sale i really wasn't trying to find something to go over it but you're kidding like the louis red you can't tell on camera but it's a nice like silky material so i think it's gonna look very like dressed up over the top of this bodysuit random i also got a new sunscreen 50 dollars sunscreen this is my favorite sunscreen ever because it's i always talk about this when i talk about my skincare i've been using this for months and it's literally my favorite but why is it 50 dollars? but that's all the things that i got on my little trip i can't wait to go home and try this stuff on and hopefully not cry because it doesn't fit Hey everyone, I can I put you down right here? I got back from the mall, came back. I still haven't eaten my little pretzel bites. I need to do that. But I did spend like a good half an hour or so trying on clothes when I came back. Bad news, that red top, the red top is cute. It's not bad that I bought it because I can definitely use it for something else. Like it doesn't have to be, like I'm not wearing it to Louis just because it looks weird with the pants that I wanted. But it's okay because I picked out an outfit. I'm gonna use the bodysuit I bought and I'm gonna use like this really cute lacy black top, maybe some jeans. So that's kind of where I'm at for the outfit. It wouldn't be a Jasmine's Aid concert vlog if I didn't go buy something to wear to the show and then not wear that thing to the show because I've done that twice now. Mainly because the dressing rooms are closed. Is that my fault? 
But yeah, I'm just gonna eat the rest of my pretzel bites and do some editing on my little mini docu project. And I would probably pick up the camera and record again on the day of the show. <laughs> you guys, I'm seriously gonna have a... I can't do it. But I will see you guys on the day of the show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to show day. I just ordered myself some Starbucks because I didn't feel- It's so funny because I was like, I'm gonna order Starbucks this morning because I don't want to go to Starbucks. But then I realized that I have to go to the pharmacy and pick up my medicine today anyway. I have to go out anyway and there's a Starbucks right next to the CVS where my medicine is. So I don't know why I did that. I talk about this drink all the time. I'm sure you're tired of hearing about it. The brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso with cold foam on top. It's my go-to, but I really hate how Starbucks doesn't mix their drinks up. All the espresso is just at the bottom, so I'll stir that up. I also got my beloved Starbucks bagel. I talk about this a lot in my vlogs too. I am still wearing the same Louis shirt, by the way. I've been wearing this to bed for the past two days, so. My friend is coming over to my apartment after she's finished with her last class, because my show is on a Monday. She has like a class today at college and then she's gonna come to my apartment with all her stuff for the show because we're going. And then later tonight around five, we're gonna go out to eat at this Italian restaurant that's near the venue, like downtown in my city. And then we're gonna go line up at the venue so I can get merch. And you know, the most embarrassing thing ever is literally for like a whole year, maybe even two years now, I think. I've been saying I'm gonna get this compass filled in because I got this compass after Louis, so we went literally for Louis. And after I got the tattoo, I kept telling you guys, I was like, I'm gonna get it shaded in a few weeks. It's been two years and this bitch is still not shaded. And I literally said, by the time I go see Louis, I want it to be shaded just in case I can show it to him. Guess who's seeing Louis and this bitch is still not shaded? Am I ever gonna get the compass shaded? For those of you who have been watching me for that long, you're probably wondering, I don't know. So I think what I need to do is like make an appointment for a new tattoo and then during the same appointment also tell them I want this shaded. But I say it's embarrassing because this looks so bad just outlined. I don't know why I did that. I was like, no, like you can stop. I'll get it shaded another time. Girl, why didn't you tell him to shade it? <coughs> oh God. What if I just recorded my own death? I saw a TikTok the other day that was like, what to do if you're choking alone? And it scared me and then this happens. Uh. I don't think One Direction has merch anymore. I was so surprised they didn't sell merch on their 10 years, like to capitalize off of that <laughs> a little bit. I finished my makeup. I put in these clips because I've been like wearing them every day and I did some green because my mask is gonna be green. I can't wait to cry all of this off tonight because that's what's gonna happen. This is the finished look. This is the part where I get adrenaline shot and nervous and crazy and anxious and cover my mouth a million times because what else am I supposed to do? I think we're gonna leave and just like hang out downtown and get some food and then wait in line for merch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Here we go. Thank you to every single person in here. It 
it's as simple as this. Without everyone in this room, I wouldn't be here today. Life gets hard and it gets messed up when you give so much and it's not enough. The high's too high and low's too low when you love someone and it gets you. After the picture, we've got two songs left. Tell me that you stand and lost your way. Tell me that your tears are here.
I just have a lot to think about, I think. <laughs> You guys, oh my god. I hate the part of concerts where I have to sit down and talk to you about them after it's over because there's just like so many things. And then combined with the exhaustion and emotional exhaustion, it's just... The show was amazing, I don't need to tell you that. It was so incredible seeing someone that I love and adore and care about and have loved and adored and cared about for so long right in front of me, doing his best, thriving, putting on an amazing show. And the people I was around in the crowd had such good energy. I could tell that I was around diehard Louis, and that made me so happy. They were all so excited to be there, screaming the songs so loud, screaming that they love him, throwing up hearts to him. And I love being in an environment like that where the people around you are clearly so into the, into what's happening. And it was just perfect scenario. And the crowd, my God, that crowd at that venue, blew me away if you were at the show in indianapolis you probably know what i mean like holy shit i've never heard a crowd like that before they were so we i was in the crowd too we were so loud just like singing so incredibly loud oh my god you could tell everyone there was there there they were showing up for him they were not playing around and it was such a good day because i met so many of you guys if that was you Thank you for stopping me. I've literally never been anywhere where I've met so many people who just like knew who I was ever. At this show, I met, I have to say it like 15 of you. It was crazy. So if that was you, thank you. Every single one of you was so sweet and polite and I loved meeting you and I loved talking to you. So I got this little wristband. I'm gonna take it off so I can put it in my memory box now. It says Louis Tomlinson World Tour 2022. And on the back it has my city. And I did get merch. It also came in this really cool bag. I was almost gonna get the white one, but then I thought that this one, I see I have the black one of this too. Always go for black. On the front it just says World Tour 2022. And then on the back it has the dates. And it says Louis Tomlinson. Best show ever, my throat hurts so bad. I was literally screaming for dear life to those songs. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on my concert vlog journey. Lots of uploads coming your way um, after this one. So I hope you guys are doing well, uh, drinking your water, absolutely thriving. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. I actually really can't wait because my next video is a big one. So goodbye. Lots of love from me and Louis both. <laughs>